we saw flashes of light and then we saw people just scattering and running. Frightening moments for shoppers this afternoon as a shootout erupted outside a grocery store. Police are searching tonight for whoever shot two people during a drive-by shooting at a giant eagle in Greenfield. We know that one of those people who was shot fired back at the gunman before running into the store for help. Kim Gable was at the giant eagle moments after the shooting started. She is live tonight with new details from police. Kim, good evening. Good evening to you, Julie. Yeah, this happened right after 5 o'clock today, and we are being told that several dozen shell casings were found in this area where we're standing here live tonight. I want to show you some of the damage here behind me. You can see this bus shelter and all of the shattered glass just, still just scattered on the ground here. This is near where those two victims were standing today, and you're right. This was a true shootout. This was an exchange of gunfire. So tonight the question is, where is that person who fired the shots? Immediately when we saw people running, we knew that it, it was someone shooting, actively shooting. Beth Blair and her husband James were picking up food for their anniversary dinner at the Giant Eagle in Greenfield when the bullets started to fly. Because I was in the Army, I just it was a medic, and I thought the first best thing to do is get down on the ground. And the gunfire wasn't stopping. James's instincts kicked in. I kind of scooted out onto the ground here and was yelling to people here and yelling to people there. Because there was a car here, I figured I had... If bullets came, I was at least down this far. Meanwhile, across the street, a pizza shop employee looked over to see one man wounded on the ground at the intersection of Murray and Loretta. He doesn't want his face shown. It sounded like whoever was shooting at him pretty much unloaded a clip, and then he pulled out his gun, returned to fire, and then limped away, got about halfway to Giant Eagle, through the parking lot and then turned around, returned fire again, just recklessly up in the air. Police still have several questions. After learning, the man and woman with him ran into Giant Eagle, both injured in the exchange of gunfire. It appears that uh, the gun exchange occurred outside the, totally outside the supermarket. Uh, there were two vehicles that were also hit, and uh, it appears that we are very fortunate that no other individuals were struck by bullets. A spokesperson later confirmed police are searching for at least one shooter who witnesses tell us fired from a vehicle. I hope I never experience anything like that again because that was quite frightening. The shooting in the city needs to stop. It needs to stop. So we are bringing you back live now to a look here at the scene against the again the shattered glass here uh, near the Murray Avenue Giant Eagle in Greenfield. So those two victims, one man, one woman, one of them we are told suffered serious injuries, the other minor injuries, both still in the hospital at this time and being questioned by police. So again, as you heard there in that piece, they are still searching for at least one other shooter. We're live tonight in Greenfield. Kim Gable, KDKA TV News.